Right, hello everybody, welcome to game 21 of 1% effort versus undead. This could be tricky. He does have <laughs> not only a dirty player, it's also a sneaky kit, which will be good in 2020, but not now. And he's got two pommers. Oh, yuck. Oh, yuck, 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 yuck. Yuck. At least it seems that he's not that good at Blood Bowl with his record. Without being harsh. <laughs> like he's not, he's not, when I say not that good, I mean he's not that good, right? He's not like K Fogue good or uh, Shawnee good or anything. I'm not saying he's not better than average. I'm not saying he's a shitter. But um, at least he's not world class. So that might have, but two tackle pommers is horrible, isn't it? That is absolutely horrible. And a dirty player. This has got the potential to go really, 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 really badly. Or oh, Jimmy Good, yeah, <laughs> if you want. <laughs> I'd rather not be look so conceited, but it's true. I think I'm pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hide your skinks, hide your saurus. Yeah, Blood Bowl 2020, the sneaky gets really good actually. Uh, the diamond tackle shouldn't be an issue, seeing as it's on a goal. But the pom, <laughs> the tackle pom, more of an issue than diamond tackle. And it's been the odd announcement. The, the, uh, oh, about Blood Bowl 3, no. <laughs> no, I think that's still all silent. Blood Bowl 3. Shawnee's always been really good blob skills. Shawnee's been good for ages. I don't know why he got good, but uh, he's been good for a long, old time, hasn't he? I can't remember him not being good. Like, Christopher's got better, hasn't he? He's probably the only one who's got better that you kind of can think of, because... <laughs> everyone everyone who's good was like good at the start, weren't they, you know? Whereas feels like uh Crucifer's the only one who's like actively got better. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna put these back just so that you definitely can't blitz <laughs> the super skink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's brilliant. Arch four skink and strength six fucking sorrows. Nice skill rolls. Holy shit. Oh shit, it's Jimmy. Hello! He's just gonna fuck me, man. He, I can't stop the strength by mighty blow hits. And then the palm hits. This is gonna be a massacre. You can foul all the time. I'm not very happy about this match. <laughs> Necromantic roster. It's weird, isn't it? I think the whites, the whites, the wraiths are quite good. Like if the wraiths were on an elf team or whatever, or a human team, they'd be they'd be really good. But on a on a team with such little edge three ball handling capability, I think it, having a better player almost could be a nerf. Which sounds stupid. It's kind of good that they've got a claw guy when basically nobody else will have claw. Great player for stat ups as well. The wolves. If if like it's the thing you can't say in Blood Bowl twenty twenty rules because it, Blood Bowl twenty twenty rules are going to be entirely dependent. On, on the redrafting and 
salary cap and however all that's worked out because you can have totally different formats in Blood Bowl 2020 completely different formats in Blood Bowl 2020 but in general like obviously their, their stats have got a lot worse and desperation players were a lot worse um, can probably only run one wolf now pretty crap <laughs> yeah, almost more of that. I wouldn't say it's the worst possible matchup, but at least like if it was a Chaos Claw Palm team, at least against them you get a Wizard or whatever as well, don't you? Or like Silly Billy or whatever. Oh yeah, he's got Break Tackle instead of Stand Firm, I think. Yeah. I'm not a fan of that. I would have given them stand firm. <laughs> Even I give mummies stand firm. Oh, look at these dice rolls. <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> Yeah, Claw Pom Chaos is the worst. Claw Pom is definitely the worst. Because they just slaughter your skinks. You slaughter your Saurus. And then you can't protect your skinks and they get slaughtered as well. And then your whole team's dead and you've lost. At least you've got armor 9, but obviously having loads. Oh, did he misclick? He misclicked! Oh, beautiful. He's followed. Oh, baby. Well, this is gone <laughs> swimmingly for a turn at least. Absolutely glorious so far. He was going for the string six. Ah, but squished him though at the end, didn't it? Right. was the diving tackle that might be a problem for the skinks <laughs> and that's why I said he wouldn't be oh yeah Too easy punching. <laughs> that was pretty good. Shit. Yeah, that was the weakness about this guy. I really wanted it to be the strength six in there, but then I need to get the assist for the other hit. 
we would not have been able to handle a strength six in there. Phew. The trash talk isn't instantly rewarded For fuck's with the death. Tony, <laughs> stop being shit. <laughs> yeah, you got to pile on, especially I mean, especially when you break on the armor. Got to pile on, haven't you? Ah, oh, blockless block, full pow. Oh, it's shit, and then that frees him up to hit a skink. Greed it. Does not greed it. Outrageous. Outrageous non-greed. Sneaky kit, so he's going for it. Why not? That is that is the beauty of sneaky kit, isn't it? I mean, I use the word beauty loosely, but that is what isn't horrific about it. <laughs> he's regen, though. He's regen. He's regened. <laughs> Fuck, he's regened. Dyson the, Dyson the fuck out of him so far, pretty much. Just quietly. Okay, okay I should have, should have been more quiet. Should have been more quiet. Every time I seem... It seems that every time I re-roll a double skull, I roll another double skull later in the turn. Like, literally every time. And obviously if I just pushed him, the guarder could have gone in there. That's why the guard I haven't stopped yet. Fuck's sake. That is simply not true. The data does not support your assertion. Gonna hit the ball with this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, double GFI, yeah, with tackle as well. Whoops. I don't care about hitting the ball. <laughs> this can be a massive gang foul, man. It's not about hitting the ball, is it? Like, there's... Not yet. There's all of this to be done first. Is this guy niggle? Yeah. There's a lot to be done before the, this is annoying that he gets fouled because of that two double scores in one turn. Phew. Phew. No, it's about it's about the uh, playing blood ball, isn't it? <laughs> it's about the whole playing blood ball thing. What about hitting the ball this turn? I don't think I can. I can tune him out of there, but then I'd be having to occupy this square, so it doesn't look so good. Pretty crazy dice all around, I guess. 
He's not in range. If he goes there, because the moment he can break tackle and blitz him, as if he's tagged, he can't do that. Like it's about eroding the position, isn't it? And like getting incremental advantage through the turns, like ball state. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, yeah. That's spicy. Hey, instant one in nine. Glorious. Glorious one in nine. This sucks. It does, doesn't it? I have I have diced him. I can't I can't lie. It's been a bit of a dicing so far. I can't lie. You know what's funny? Putting this guy in and making this a three dice on his strength four. <laughs> nice strength four, mate. He's already. Oh no, he's, he's not protected if the crocs go stupid or something. I guess the croc just doesn't activate. twice, so now the crocs can activate. Wait, all that, cause it's just because it's gone so well. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Wouldn't have rerolled that normally. I only took the one D and the reroll because I, you know, it was obviously such a dominant position. Probably shouldn't have to man, but I think I should have taken it. Even a push puts him in a horrible spot with his guard and strength six. So I think that was worth doing the one D. Already blitzed. 
<laughs> Dirty Dino. Right. He's got to punch it. He's got a punch him. He's got to punch him and get a pal. Phew. He's got to activate. Phew. Destroy. Can I make it three? No. Push is pretty shit, don't use my last reroll on it. I don't have to go crazy, do I? You can't break tackle in. But I don't want him to base the ball again with a blood stepper. So maybe I just fuck off, but then what about this asshole? Motherfucker. Motherfucker. Well, sized up, I couldn't go on the sideline, could I? Because of him. I couldn't go fo forward because of the fucking white. Get to the pow. <laughs> oh no, and the serve, and the scatter into the crowd. Maybe. Yeah, for the surf, innit? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's going to make scoring substantially harder, isn't it? Crocs can go for it. Maybe this can. I could maybe uh, surf him, couldn't I? But I don't know, it's just cock on, isn't it? It's a cock on for like not a lot of payoff.
Go on, Tarsis. You are the scoring threat. No, this is only one dodge, so I've got to do with it. Can't risk unactivating the crocs. Like, you know, what's it called? Him going stupid. Go for this. If he fails, he fails. Fuck him. <laughs> like it was leaving this surf on, which is maybe a bit stupid, but another chance to win seemed pretty good. Oh, look at that. Don't activate the crocs. And he does nothing. <laughs> Get revenge on him. <laughs> His fucking <laughs> mummy just getting dominated by a fucking Saurus. Glorious. I've already handed off. Shit. Do I go for the pass? <laughs> it's very sunny. Clever Jim. He's gonna surf another fucking Saurus here with this. Ske <laughs> this skeleton has surfed everybody. Ah, <laughs> oh, not today. No oh, shit. I knew when I was following that was kind of done. <laughs> But oh, he's fucking not fast enough. Oh, he's fast enough. Oh, it's only a one day, isn't it? It's only a one day. Oh no! <laughs> do I do that? I can't reach with that. He can reach.
Ah, Crocs can't make it. Do I do the 1D? But now, nah, one in thirty-six. Uh, I don't know though. C'est le moment de vérité. Q. Eighty-five percent effort. Hundred percent effort would have said no. <laughs> Eighty-five says yes. <laughs> I did have some good luck to be fair. Never serve. But thanks, at least I've got it played. Oof! Fails his kills. Lovely jubbly. Oh, there's no in, in its second half! Oh, 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 brilliant! Yeah, that was his drive! <laughs> that was his drive! Alright, yeah, the serve gets a lot better with it being his drive then, doesn't it? I mean, didn't even realise that was his drive, holy shit. Right, three, six, seven, eight, nine. He's only got nine men left. Oh, but not ten. Incredible, though. Yeah, but, you know, I can forget things pretty quickly. <laughs> right, Tarsis and this guy can dick around together trying to get the ball while everybody else does constructive things. Like, fucking shit up. There's a skeleton to punch there. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, I was really lucky. Real lucky. I mean, he served three players for a start. And then, obviously, the, the fucking tackle palms just got dominated by the strength, didn't they? They got dominated out of it, basically. Oh, God, this could be a, this could be a cheeky uh, touchback. Had real good luck. Not a touchback. Yeah, gotta teach him a good lesson by killing his guard. No one cares about you, shithead loner skink. Never lucky. <laughs> this is fine if he wants to try and make a dodge or whatever to hit him, so what? Shithead skink, don't give a fuck about him. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, yeah, I guess, I guess, I guess that would make sense for them to be wild animals rather than just a bit derpy. Like it was a bit shit hanging him out to dry. Oh wow! <laughs> but he was a loner, so I didn't care if he died, did I? And it, um, it meant that he didn't take this guy out. Glorious. No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Stand firm in the place where you are. Now fast north. Think about taking bad skills. Wonder why you haven't before. <laughs> Thanks, whoever that was, whatever that was. Sorry, I'm giving a little bit more than maybe uh, 1% right now. I do apologise. <laughs> that was a lot of pregnant be there. Ho ho ho. Wee wee wee. Bezel was it. Bezel! Thank you very much. Bezel! <laughs> Never lucky. What a fucking disgrace of a game. Bezel, stand firm in the place where you are, now face north. <laughs> Think about taking bad skills, wonder why you asked before. <laughs> I've got no idea what that means, but thank you very much, Bezel. <laughs> for staying fantastic for 42 glorious, glorious months. Oh yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> Getting the point where I might have to uh, pick it up in a dedicated carrier here. Tragic, absolutely tragic, that isn't it? This is pretty tragic. Oh, he's got sidestep as well, that one. Stand him up. I want to three dice him, so I've got to follow. I don't really want him now. Good. Will he scatter it? Fuck off, man. <laughs> I, knew, I knew that was happening. <laughs> Once he'd fucking scattered it. Fucking knew that was happening. Fuck's sake. Oh, I could 3D him and then 3D him with the uh, crocs. Oh no, we're gonna have to get them. I could move the crocs in afterwards. <laughs> oh god how completely boring ils attaquent le porteur du ballon bob je sais jim je te signale qu'on regarde le même match should have probably moved him over there right and stood him up thinking i could ever power somebody oh 
Well, the stun is nice. <laughs> Instant pal. <laughs> That was a great, if that hadn't been an armor break, could have been fucked. Could have just picked it up and fucked off. Totally should have moved him to there. That was really crazy not moving him over there. Like, okay, I wanted the crocs in there, but once that had failed, I had to move him in, didn't I? Should have thought about the both down, obviously. It was so obvious because I was going to take it. Stupid. That was just really shit. Terrible, terrible play. 100% <laughs> terrible not moving him first. But look to have got away with it anyway, so that's nice. This is a bit of a shame that these fucking asshole uh, ghouls cannot be tagged or anything. Just got to dodge through. I'm going to make the second one, aren't I? <laughs> skinks. <laughs> Edge for skink. He's not bad, is he? He's not a bad in the old uh, Edge for skink. One, two, three, GFI, GFI. Two, three, yeah. Yeah, this Saurus is a bit far away now. It's all right, it's still got plenty of turns left. Plenty of turns left. Don't worry about it. I mean, he was trying to pick up the ball, so like he was always going to be the one nearest the end zone, wasn't he? Oh, not getting powered! Glorious. Not every block on a skink is a pal. Bit of luck there. Thank you. 
what is prehensile tail? I heard that there was a skill called prehensile tail, but it doesn't seem to uh, doesn't seem to really do anything ever. <laughs> It is, isn't it? It is a bit of an imaginary skill. Don't think you want to get your guy tackle mighty board. Maybe he does. <laughs> Feed me the girl. <laughs> the problem is blocking with the fucking crocs. I'm gonna have to do this one instead. go there I guess then he's got a dodge quite a difficult dodge then isn't it and can run away from this this character what's it called a ghoul run away from the ghoul Also, subtly get the moves the the guy we want to score with close at the end zone. Subtle lag. This tackle Pommer's looking at a five plus three plus. It's doable, isn't it? It's probably what he's going for as well. I don't do my keep forgetting about break tackle on my mummy. Don't worry. <laughs> I did count the squares for the mummy hitting the uh, skink last time. Isn't that nice? And apart from being a bit too harsh on himself, as it's nice when people say <laughs> say that you've outplayed them instead of just calling you a look a dog. Trying to get the fucking, <laughs> trying to get him freed up and it off to him. Four dice and not a pal. 
<laughs> I can tell him a thing or two about that. <laughs> to be fair, he had the boat down as well, didn't he, with a block. Yeah, exactly, he could have done, yeah. I'd definitely been luckier than him. I mean, look at this. I've definitely been luckier than him. There's no doubt I've been lucky. Taken nothing, he surfed three guys that I just let him surf essentially. Serve the mummy. <laughs> Could serve the mummy if uh, if caring about the ball wasn't a thing. Completely irrelevant block. Couldn't serve him. Yeah, I mean he only got to, he only got to pound the pound stunt he wants. In fairness. Like he blitzed with a... His first round of blocks were really unlucky. That was the biggest thing. And and then... That was the that was the biggest point of bad luck, really. Was his, his initial turn being so unlucky. Um, against... Against the... Uh, the guys that he hit, but he, he did make the wrong decision to blitz with a, the strength four guy, didn't he, and stuff. But even then, he didn't get the knockdown, so he, like, him not getting any knockdowns at all on the turn one was brutal for him. And then, obviously, after that, the strength advantage. Like, once the strength advantage was attained by not taking removals, then it's it starts to look bad for him, doesn't it? Because got more strength in him, much more guard than him. Much more strength, much more guard. So it gets very difficult for him then. But it wouldn't have mattered because he all pushes anyway. So even if he'd hit with the right character, he'd still just push. Oh man, what a fucking scab. I use my reroll as well. I use my last fucking reroll. I might draw this. Fuck me. Maybe I shouldn't have used my last reroll on, <laughs> on Tarsus trying to score. Fuck me. <laughs> That's alright, I'm free up. Or maybe not. Can. Fucking hell. It was a bad mistake, wasn't it? Didn't need to make him reachable by him. I know. But I wanted to hit him with my <laughs> Um And I've got no rerolls. So it's like, it's not great, is it? He wants to go here, I guess. And he wants to at least base him. <laughs> Fucking bastard. 
<laughs> Can't push him anywhere because he's got sidestep, but we've already got taco anyway, so it's hard for him to get forward with the ball, isn't it? Probably gonna have to go back there. One, two, three, four. No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So maybe put him here, and then he's got to run through, hasn't he? Yeah, <laughs> so I was dicking about trying to get a fucking Soros touchdown. At the end of the day. <laughs> At the end of the day, I fucking dipped around too much because it was one nil up, and I was trying to get a touchdown on a thirteen star player point. Fucking guy, and he had hardly any threat. Well, I probably dipped about too much, to be fair. Probably should have dicked about less. Probably should have dicked about less in the second half. Yeah, exactly. Had a fun game. That's the important part. He was a lovely fella. Didn't blame the dice, did he? He just said he got outplayed when really he had, he had shocking dice because it, just the initial turn where he did nothing. After that, he just started to get guard lock and strength and guard lock. And then obviously I got loads of random stuns and stuff, which just made it super hard for him. So. Artemis would probably have called that a dicing, to be fair. But that's the thing, it's 67 blocks. That's just what happens with this team, isn't it? They just outblock the fuck out of everybody. And then you get Rando, Rando, Kaz on people. But his, his armor was really bad. <laughs> his armor was real bad. And okay, there were some mighty blow hits there. But. Catches were not good on the. The old 5 plus catches failed us there. <laughs> Five plus catch is no good. But the pickups were alright. Boneheads were poor. It's because they're all two plus, aren't they? Boneheads, you can never have a four plus one. GFIs were lovely. Dodgers were. I mean, mostly, probably what they were like. Most of them were two plus, probably. Didn't get that many powers, actually. Look at this. Look how bad my block dice were. 58, 47, 34. <laughs> Actually, horrible block dice. But loads of his guys didn't have blocks, so we're getting the knockdowns anyway. And obviously, it depends how they were distributed as well. Oh, there were those. <laughs> there was that. 1 in 27 times 1 in 27, whatever that is. That was a bit unlucky. Yeah, exactly. There were lots of knock there were lots of both downs on zombies, yeah, which were actually good. But, you know, if you just look at it... You know, I don't want to spend the time to look at the actual dice. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, that's going to take forever, isn't it? It's easy just to look at this and then, however bad you think the dice were, they, you know, it's just, it proves to people that it's random, doesn't it, really? <laughs> 16, 30, 20. You've got loads of pushes. So, I mean, he was definitely unlucky overall and in crucial parts um, so you know depending on what your threshold for a dicing is you could have said it was a dicing for sure <laughs> what is this team <laughs> <laughs> I think blocks pro genuinely probably better, but it's funny to go strength, isn't it? It's funny to go strength with a strength six saurus. <laughs> Nothing says 1% ever like having plus strength on everybody. Yeah, I wouldn't hate block, because he's already got sure hands. Like, having block defends you a lot, doesn't it? 
Um, <laughs> strength four, edge five. Yeah. Oh god, imagine the strength four, edge four skink. Holy shit. Yeah, someone had that on fumble. I remember. Um, right, I'll think about it. <laughs> I've got to take strength, haven't I? Just because it's funny. What's the point in calling a team one percent effort if you're not going to take fucking strength up? Let's fucking go. Who cares if it's not optimal? Who cares if it's not optimal? It's fun. Right. Could think about going to 12 men. Or something. Right. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.